first down. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. There's Murray. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. Here's second and ten now from the 35. again. Murray, he's going to float this one deep right side. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. But you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those, but the coverage has been excellent thus far, and it was again on the last play. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Murray. Take it in by the tight end, Doyle. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. Murray now on first down. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Three yards the gain there, second down. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. And now he'll tuck it and run. And he gets it down to the 32. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. Looks to me, partner, like he's learned a little bit because earlier in the game, I think he was trying to force a lot of throws into his windows that just weren't open. Yeah, the interceptions had plagued him, especially a second interception, really a bad throw. So maybe a better decision there. Yeah, no doubt about it. I think he learned from earlier in the game, and he's applying it now. The frustration is definitely setting in because they've thrown it to him over and over unable to come up with a catch thus far. I think he knew he would have his challenges against the secondary. I don't think he saw a goose egg at this point in the game. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29 yard line. He'll get only three there so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. Murray now to throw. Able to find Isabella. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 16. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. And the Cardinal first down. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Touchdown, Jack Doyle. His first touchdown on the year. And the Cardinals have cut it to within a score. Murray to air it out again. Complete at the one. And he'll get into the end zone as the two-point conversion is successful. Cardinals 11. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. And that one will bounce. 
bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. to begin their next drive the Rams offense at the line pretty important third quarter drive for them momentum is sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead just what you want on a first down run call it eight yards and it's second and two yards on the pickup brings up second and two Again here with Akers. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second into his prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. He's got the first down and more past midfield. And he'll take this down the 40 yard line. 24. First and 10 at the 40 yard line. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 right at the 40. On the ground, it's Akers. And he's taken down inside the 30. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. On first down, they'll stay with Akers on the ground. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Jackson options out left, and he's going to be stopped up just short of the first down at the Cardinals' 15-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. First and line ten. of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. He was looking for Landry that time, and that'll bring up second down. Back now here on EA Sports. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. From the gun, Jackson, and he fires one incomplete. That time trying to find Gerald Everett, and it's third down. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing in the coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. Jackson looking to throw on third. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong. And now it's fourth down. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll run for it with Akers. And they are going to stop him on fourth and one as he'll wind up going backwards. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And the Cardinal defense is going to get the football back.
Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. A big opportunity to tie it with three or take the lead with a touchdown. Their defense definitely did their part with that pivotal fourth down stop. And able to get it here to about the 16-yard line. Seven yards, the pick up there. Seven brings up second and three. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Murray going to throw. And ball complete to Isabella. And they'll get him down here at the 23. Seven yards there and a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down. Executed it to perfection. On first down, Drake. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. opening, and there he goes. Pass the 20, 10. Touchdown, Cardinals! Kenyon Drake, his first touchdown of the year. And the Cardinals have retaken the lead. Well, I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that. And, you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They had done a nice job on him in the first half. But there were a couple of occasions where it felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, that got done. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. On this with Akers. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? On third down, Jackson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That, I believe, will put him over 100 yards receiving for the game. Yes, it will. And he's got a first down to boot. Play action. It's Jackson. Going deep downfield for Raw. It's caught inside the 25. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. John Ross. With two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Rams are once again going to retake the lead. He's got it. And this is indeed up to a three-point lead. Makes the score Rams 21, Cardinals 18. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, 
behind the Cardinal offense. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. 